cortisol curve, if this is the number of units of cortisol and these are the hours, let's say you get up at 6 a.m. and you go to bed at 10 p.m. and this is approximately midday. Cortisol in females should rise gently so that you feel nice and awake and it should top out here at midday and slowly come down when you come into bedtime. So, and I'll use a different color for this one, your melatonin can take over and you can fall into a deep restorative sleep. However, what we're seeing increasingly, and this is largely propagated by social media, it wasn't like this 10 years ago when I first started, is cortisol instead of, and we'll keep this line here, dotted so we've got a reference instead of it coming up and being a beautiful hill throughout your day what we're seeing is that people are going to bed hungry the waking up doing intermittent fasting they maybe go to the HIIT class let's put that there early morning trying the hardest they've still not had any fuel the body's gone from being in flight or flight to really we think we're in a war zone cortisol continues up somewhere like this until you've just simply produced all the cortisol you can during the day, energy crashes, it comes down here, it might bump, flatline, and it goes like this. And because they haven't eaten enough here before bed, cortisol starts to rise, wakes you up in the middle of the night to tell you you're hungry and you need to eat to survive, and then crashes again. And we see this curve starting sometimes like this during the day as it's coming down from the night.